Hi everybody, Dr. Pingle here. Um, we're going to talk for just a second about Jupyter Notebooks. Um, we're, this isn't going to be a complete how-to, this is really just a what are we doing with Jupyter in this class kind of a, a video, so it's going to be quite short. And we'll point you to other resources um, uh, in just a minute. Um, now, Jupyter uh, is, a, is kind of a big project. Uh, it comes out of a, a previous project called IPython. Uh, and uh, the big product that we're going to be using uh, and that mo most people use is called the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, and Jupyter Notebook is a way uh, in which you can program. Uh, it kind of started off with Python, but it can actually do more, more than just Python now. Uh, and it's kind of an interactive programming system, but it also has um, features called Markdown, uh, which lets you add um, images, uh, potentially video, text. Um, and so what it ends up being is this kind of nice way to sort of program interactively, um, create some very simple elements and sort of look at results. So it's become quite popular in scientific programming. The way you can get started with this, um, so there are two really common ways. Uh, one is to download uh, Anaconda. Um, so if you go to anaconda.org, um, you can click on download Anaconda and there are versions for this uh, for Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. Um, this is probably the easiest way to get started uh, and the most surefire thing to work. Um, so this is actually what I recommend. Uh, we're going to see in a minute um, how you can use ArcGIS Pro to do this. Um, but this is actually a little bit easier for those of you who are using a Mac. Um, this might be your only option. Um, just go ahead and download whatever Python 3 version um, for your operating system comes up. Um, most computers these days are going to be 64-bit. Uh, if you happen to know that your computer is not, um, you can download the 32-bit version of this. So I would just download this uh, and install it. Uh, the downloads are quite large, um, so if we um, go to download this file, you can see that um, the total file size here is about 600 megs. Uh, that's pretty typical. Um, I'm going to cancel this installation because I've got it already. Um, uh, and then the install can take anywhere between, oh, say 10 minutes and half an hour, depending on your computer and what features you have installed. Um, if you need help doing that, um, talk to me, talk to the TA, and we'll help you get going. Uh, but it really should be just as easy to do, um, do the install as you see there. Um, once you have it installed, uh, you should be able to find Anaconda in your uh, list here. Uh, and you can click on Jupyter Notebook and it should start up for you. Uh, if everything goes to plan, you'll see kind of a command window open up and you're going to uh, see a window here um, that corresponds to a, a start directory. Um, once you're in here, you can create a new notebook, a uh, new Python 3, and it'll look something like this. Uh, as the first notebook in class, um, we've got uh, a version of that here. Um, so I can open that up. And this is what a, a, a kind of a, a notebook in progress really looks like. Um, and I'm not going to go into all the details, but essentially what you can do is uh, you can interactively run this code. So here we have a little block of Python code. Um, and we can run uh, that little piece of code and see the result. And we can run this little piece of code uh, and get a result. Uh, there are a number of hotkeys. Um, again, we'll, this isn't the video to kind of go through all the details of this, uh, but for instance, to run this, you can hit Shift uh, Enter, uh, and it's going to run that block of code as well. So uh, there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Um, you don't need to know all of these. You'll get the hang of some of them later. Um, uh, again, this is really just a video kind of introducing you to the uh, overall system. Um, now, the other way that you can access this stuff, uh, Jupyter Notebooks, uh, is through ArcGIS. So ArcGIS uh, is very tightly integrated with Python, uh, and in fact, it has an Anaconda installation that comes with it. Um, and so you should see a Jupyter Notebook down here um, that you uh, should be able to click on and get started. So um, if you have an ArcGIS Pro installation, which you're going to need right away for the course anyway, um, you should just be able to click on this and it will and get you going, and so you wouldn't need to install Anaconda. Um, my installation uh, actually doesn't work. Um, so if you find that yours doesn't work, talk to me, talk to the TA. We'll help you um, troubleshoot that. I don't want to get into that uh, detail here. Um, so there's your quick introduction. Um, I'll post some other links and some other material to kind of familiarize yourself a little bit more with this. Um, but uh, welcome to the course and uh, welcome to Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, and thanks for listening.